Hi, right, James here. Uh, a couple of people have emailed me and said that they're new to DJing and um, they've been out and brought themselves a pair of turntables and they found a dial on the back which has got anti-skating written on it and they haven't got a clue what it's for and they asked me if I could do a video to basically explain what it's for. Now, I did have a look on YouTube and there's a couple of videos about it but none of them really go into much detail so I'm going to go into a bit more detail uh, I'm just going to explain basically you know, what it is, what it does, how it actually affects the stylus and um, you know, very briefly how it works basically. So um, I've got a turntable here so let me move the camera and I'll show you the turntable. Right, I've got this turntable set up on the floor. Um, now if you don't know where the anti-skating is, it's actually at the back of the tone arm here. Uh, there's a little dial called anti-skate and uh, if you've brought a new turntable then fine that will be working but if you've um, got like quite an old turntable that might not be working or it just might not be working as well as it used to now you need to establish whether or not that's actually working and one, way, one thing you can do is to put your counterweight right back uh, not all the way back but sort of back enough just so that the tone arm will actually hover like that and then what you should do is put it away from the rest like that and then turn the anti-skating all the way around to number 3 and it should ping right back to its resting position there and whenever you move it into the center it should go straight back there but when you turn the anti-skating off there you go it should have no resistance in it at all okay so if it does that then the chances are it might not be working as well as it used to but nonetheless it will be working right now here I've got a one-sided vinyl you can see there's a track on that side you can see the grooves and on that side you can see it's completely shiny, there's nothing on there so if we was to put that on right now if I was to put the needle on there now what's going to happen is that's just going to go straight to the middle like that and the reason why it does that is because obviously the record spinning the force of the record spinning forces the needle inwards towards the centre now if we was to do the same thing but now we turn on the anti-skate you can see it does the complete opposite, it actually pulls it out to the outside so what the anti-skate actually does is it works against the force of the record spinning and it pulls the needle outwards now let me show you why it does that and what the reason for that actually is right crazy doodle time now you imagine you've got your centre spindle here and you've got your piece of vinyl and your groove in the vinyl okay now my needles are spherical needles which means they're shaped like that You've also got elliptical needles which are shaped like that. Now I'll go into that in another video. Um, basically, when, you, when we didn't have the anti-skate on, it moved to the centre of the piece of vinyl that I put it on. And that's because the force of the vinyl spinning is pulling it inwards. Now if you was to play a record with it like that, basically the needle's going to be sitting about here. It's not going to be sitting right in the groove because the force is going to be pulling it out of the groove that way and the same if you have too much anti-skate on let's draw the groove again um, basically it's gonna, it pulls away from the centre which means you, it's going to be sitting on this side of the grooves it's still not going to be sitting in the groove properly now if it's like that or like that you're not going to get very good sound quality and also if you do a lot of spin backs or scratching it's just going to jump straight out the groove now if you've got the anti-skate set properly you've got your centre spindle, your piece of vinyl and your groove, basically it's going to be sitting in the centre here you've got just the right amount of anti-skating on to hold it just in the centre of the groove now like that, that's going to be the best sound quality and also it's not going to jump in and out of the groove easily when you start spinning it around ok so now I'll quickly show you how to set it up properly Right, now the only way you're really going to do this is to have a flat piece of vinyl like this um, I don't know if you can buy maybe um, blank vinyls or maybe a piece of plastic that's designed for doing this but I haven't seen one so uh, yeah this is really the only way you're going to do this so if you can get hold of a, a one sided piece of vinyl or you know a friend that is a DJ and he can lend you a flat piece of vinyl then this is the only way you're really going to do this but if you do what I did earlier and just put it on there okay, it goes to the centre now again if you have too much it's going to move away from the centre so what you want it to do is you want to put it to zero on the anti-skate this one goes up to three, yours might go higher but 
basically set it to zero, nothing, and it's going to move into the center like that, assuming that it works. So what you want to do is to just turn it up a little bit and then try it again, okay? If it moves to the center again, turn it up a little bit more and put it on again, okay? And it's going to move to the center slower each time. And what you eventually want is to be able to put the needle on there like that and basically it will just stay where you put it like that okay so wherever I put it it's just gonna stay it's not gonna move all about all over the place now when you can get it to do that and even when it comes to spinning it faster okay I can spin this up really fast and it's not actually gonna move from that spot see, see I'm actually spinning that quite fast now now if you can do that and the needle doesn't move okay then you've got the anti-skating set properly and that's what you want also as well you should be able to stop and start it and it shouldn't move from that place where you've put it okay that's how you know whether the anti-skate is actually working okay so having that set like that now that means we haven't got t uh, too little anti-skating which means it's not going to be sitting like that in the groove and we haven't got too much which means it's not going to be sitting like that set like that so that I can basically do that and it will stay where I put it means that it's sitting like that in the groove when I play a vinyl that's going to be the best sound quality and also it's less likely to jump right now different needles are going to require different amounts of anti-skating uh, like I said earlier if you imagine you've got an elliptical needle which is like that and a spherical needle which is like that okay now imagine you've got your groove in the vinyl here okay now that needle there is going to sit right in the middle of the groove there and it's going to take the shape of the groove a lot better because it's a lot pointed a lot more pointed sorry um, the spherical needle is going to sit in there like that okay which means it's not going to be sitting right in the it like it's not going to be fitting in the groove properly um, now however these are nicer to your records but you will get a better sound quality with those okay so if you're um, scratching and doing a lot of backwards and forwards motion um, or you know you, you're a nightclub DJ or something like that I would suggest getting these whereas if you're just a home DJ or a bedroom DJ or you just play a lot of vinyls get these spherical needles because they will make your vinyls last a lot longer so there you go I uh, hope the video has been a help uh, if you've got any questions or anything uh, please leave comments um, I'll put in the description the names of the two types of needles and anything you might need to know. So um, there you go. I hope it's helped. Thank you for watching. Nice one.